Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to talk about how we can use content from previous versions of iClone and update it for use with iClone 8 and Character Creator 4. In this tutorial we're going to use Character Creator 4 to demonstrate the workflow for accessing your legacy content, which will be the same as in iClone 8. When you start with CC4, you'll find that there is no content installed in the template or custom tabs of the Smart Content Manager. However, you'll be able to see the thumbnails for the packs you've purchased grayed out meaning you've already purchased them, but they haven't been installed on the local machine. The fastest way to import content from prior versions is to click and drag them into the Smart Content Manager from Explorer on your PC. To find the file location of any of your content, simply right click on it and select Find File. From there, you can click and drag the files you want directly into your Smart Content Manager. In this case, we're importing these two CC project files into our custom folder in CC4. When you do it this way, the files are duplicated. The path type is set to default on the left, meaning that now the assets are duplicated into the default CC4 custom file path. If I right click on any of the assets, I can select Find File, which will lead me to that file path. In this case, you can see that it is indeed the default file path for saving custom content in CC4. This method is only recommended for custom assets, however, as any other assets will lose their pack information when imported into the new version. If you want to maintain the pack information, there is another easy way to bring all of your content into the newer versions. To do this, use the down arrow menu on the right of your content manager and select the link option which will allow you to access all previous CC3 content. Be aware that once you use this option, it may take a while depending on how much data you're bringing over. Fortunately, you'll only need to do this once. Once the import has been successful, then you'll be able to use all of your content from previous versions normally. You'll see the thumbnails for each pack will be colored if the new Smart Content Manager is able to find the data on your local disk, and the content from CC3 will be linked as opposed to duplicating the files in order to avoid using redundant space on your hard drive. In order to find your CC3 custom content, you need to switch the source from the drop-down menu to the left. Once you select CC3 custom content, then your custom assets from that version will appear, and they'll be properly categorized as well. If you right click and select Find File, you'll see it will link back to the original CC3 custom folder structure instead of duplicating it. You'll also be able to access the pack information in the new version as well. Let's take a look at the Packager feature now. You can access this from both the right side menu item in your Content Manager or else the Window menu at the top. The hotkey is Control F4. Whenever you're creating your own packs, you'll want to organize them using the Packager. The Packager allows you to arrange and manage assets with different categories all into one package. If you want to save an updated version of your content, it's easy to do so. Here I'm just loading up this CC3 iProject. I can use the new Animation Player feature in CC4 to give it a preview. One can do it, even in just a few minutes. If I try to save this as a custom project with CC3 Custom still selected from the dropdown, I'll get an error message mentioning that I'm unable to save to CC3 format from CC4. Therefore, what I need to do is change the file type back to default from that same menu. Now when I try to save, it will be successfully saved in CC4 format. If you want to save your custom content to a folder other than that defined in the default file structure, you can do so by going to the right side menu in the Content Manager and into the Settings. From there, you can select default or else enter in a custom file path. If you have a custom file path defined, then your custom content will all be saved there. In this case, I've done this all in CC3, so if I want to link to my CC4 from the special folder structure in CC3, then I need to repeat the process to create a custom content link. CC4 will recognize the separate custom folders and prompt you to select the unified directory you defined for your custom assets in the previous version. Once this is done, it will create another file path option from the drop down menu. You'll still see the regular CC3 custom folder with a default path structure, which you can check by using the find file command. You'll also see the new file path option that we just created as well. This ensures that we can access all previous custom file paths and consolidate them into CC4 to avoid losing previous custom assets. That's it for this tutorial guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.